Hey, Alex and Flip from Wrecking Ball. We are here tonight. Had some great open mat action going tonight. Lots of fun, my man. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> killing me, by the way, with Muay Thai. 15 years since I've been on the mat striking. This guy's just killing me. Great time, though. Thanks for coming over. Thank you, Appreciate that. So, having a lot of fun here. Tonight, we had a lot of videos go out over promotions and our new kids instructor last week. So this week, we're kind of getting back to running over the recap of what we did, what we did this week. So with Clint here tonight, we're going to take a look at two different sides of what's essentially the same coin. Getting stuck on bottom side is one of those things that's horrible in jiu-jitsu. We can either attack it by facing the side mount or turning away from the side mount. And we're going to take a look at two variants of that tonight and just kind of see how they're similar, how they're different, how they both kind of achieve the same goal in the end. So want to go ahead and show us your takedown. Okay, so there's a uh, traditional side control. So what I want to do is be able to. Oh, oh, so what I want to do is I want to oompa to create space, and as I oompa, I'm going to swing this arm wide and come underneath his armpit. So I'm coming here and I'm reaching, and I'm coming right under here. Okay, so here he brings his arm back down. I don't quite have my arm all the way up yet, so I'm going to connect my knee to my elbow. I'm going to knee my elbow and I'm going to extend my arm. And if I do that, I'm going to scissor my hips to the ground. I'm here, knee, I'm coming right here. So now with my feet scissor, I'm coming right up to the knee and finishing my take now. Very nice. So going towards the side mount attack. Really good fundamental motion. So now let's look at just a slight variation and let's take a look at how I can achieve guard, but in a way that's probably not anticipated by a lot of people. So, Clint's here, and this time he's going to drive really high and isolate this arm. Really good isolation on this arm, now I can't block with it. So, what I'm going to do to create some momentum is walk my feet towards his head. Now I'm going to utilize the momentum of my legs rather than a, a, a uh, oompa and a shrimp, because it feels a little different. And a lot of times, if, if someone's not familiar with this motion, it's going to catch them by surprise. So my legs swing, and as they swing, my whole torso is turning, and I'm pulling my elbow to the mat. And you can see now how I've got my, my frame, my base, for whatever I want to do. So once I'm here, a lot of times guys are going to start to drive back in on me. As he drives, I'm utilizing this tiny little space to bring my hand through as he drives. He's going to continue to drive, and I'm going to go with that energy, and I'm going to roll to the side. From here, you'll notice I've already got my hands out now. I'm free. I can block. One of the things that's very common from here is he starts to drive this knee, yes, and he's going to start going towards his mount. I'm going to check this, and I'm going to, again, use the momentum to drive myself over to where I can tripod. At this point, I tripod. I've checked the knee. I tuck my chin. And I'm going to grab the And as soon as I see him in the guard, I'm going to lock it down. So we move back to a guard position. It's a guard recovery, but it's done by utilizing the momentum to face away from the side mount. So it's a little bit different. And by building the takedown aspect that Clint looked at with the facing it rather than going back to guard, and by facing away and rebuilding a guard, you really expand your opportunities to get out of that bottom side mount. So two entirely different motions, same end, and a really, really unique set of circumstances that lead you there. So, really interesting week, playing a lot off the bottom. Clint, thank you so much for coming over. Yes, appreciate it. Check out the rest of our channel, check out Clint's stuff on Wrecking Ball. What's your, uh, what's your address over there? Uh, www.wreckingballmmateam.com Cool. Check us out at Alpha, and guys, we'll see you back next week for more recap. Take care.